Good morning, everyone. Jason here. Today is Saturday, October 6th, and this is the Friday aftermarket update. All right, so I'm sitting here on Saturday morning, and I am making uh, this trade of the day video, talk to you a little bit about uh, how our trading day went yesterday. Uh, before I do that, uh, we've had an excellent uh, trading week here, so I was a little bit more uh, cautious. It is a Friday before the holiday, and uh, and again, if you're just watching this, I'm not sure when you may be watching this, but it is uh, it was the Friday before the Columbus Day holiday, and sometimes the trading can be a little bit uh, disjointed and a little bit difficult, and we'd had a really good trading week this week, and so uh, I was being a little bit cautious with my approach here today. Um, and we ended up having, like I said, we ended up having a good day. In fact, uh, I think uh, we ended up about 54 ticks on the day. Uh, the trade that I'm going to show you is 40 of those ticks uh, that we took here. Uh, also, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the early morning analysis that we conducted prior to the trading session. And that's kind of what you see here on the chart markup. Uh, we had an idea that the market was going to sell off down into a zone down here. We have one of our levels here at 89. Uh, there were a couple of profile areas here. This was previous session low, and you had a previous day volume point of control, and we kind of highlighted this uh, blue box out for you prior to the session. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let you listen to the eight-minute analysis uh, that we did, just so you can see that this was not drawn after the fact. But one of the things that we talked about is that we were going to be looking to get short down into this zone. And if we pop down in here into this zone uh, between these two important areas that we thought the market would rally, and uh, it really did, right? It came right down into it very quickly. 83 uh, rallied up almost immediately up to 97. So there was 114 ticks on uh, three, really three or four uh, three-minute bars. So that was something that we were looking for uh, to have happen. We discussed that prior to the market opening. Uh, and we had an idea about trying to get short down into that zone. What we were looking for uh, is a target down around 77, 78, which was the halfway point between this zone. It got down to 83. And you can see just how quickly it comes down and almost immediately back up into 14. And so it was a little bit difficult for us to kind of move our trail stop in behind it. We did take a, 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 a target trail stop uh, for, I think we said 40, 42 ticks. Uh, on that move to the downside. So I'm going to uh, do what I always do here. I'm going to let you watch kind of how the day transpired. Uh, I'm going to let you listen to that eight-minute analysis where we draw this out. We look at the profile. Uh, we talk about our levels forming up. And then uh, we go ahead and get into that uh, trade of the day. So I'll let you watch all of that. I'm going to condense that trade of the day down into just about a minute. Put some music behind it so you can kind of see where we ended up. Uh, but again, really clean and good day here for you to understand just exactly how it is that our levels work. You know, market comes down. We actually, we talked about it coming down, pulling back up into this uh, structure signal, uh, which formed after the pit open. So the analysis that you're going to hear me do is before the pit open. Uh, and then uh, you're going to see we've got these levels that formed up after the open. We wanted to pull back into this level, come down into this zone down here hit the extension one, rallied up immediately into the structure signal and before pulling back. So again, you can see just how valuable uh, these levels are here this morning. So what I'm going to do, again, like I said, let you listen to the analysis, then let you watch uh, the trade of the day where we picked up uh, quite a few ticks, and then uh, I'll let you get about your weekend here. So again, as always, I want to say thank you for watching uh, the videos here at the Oil Trading Group. And without further ado, here is that OTG trade of the day. Let's take a look at where we are here this morning. Uh, our range today is 61 ticks low to high on the CL. So that is uh, that is pretty narrow of range here. 100% of today's volume has been spent in the overnight session above settlement. So if you look down here, the low of the day is settlement. Price is currently trading up here at 74.52. You've got a little bit of a top-heavy formation. You do have a poor high up here at the high on the day and this is a decent low so we did spike down into this low area and then began that rally up if you look here this was settlement was just uh, a couple of ticks above the wednesday low of the day today's low 
is uh, sorry yesterday's lows all the way down here around 73 what is that 73.88 so here's my thought process this morning I'm a little bit meh on the way that the price has been moving I'm not that excited about the way that it has been going here so far this morning you do have an opportunity to come down into settlement here's what I would be looking for here today <clears throat> if you take a look at your RTH session here you've got the low of yesterday uh, at 88, right? There's your low of yesterday. Just below you is the Tuesday volume point of control at 73.68. So somewhere in this area, we'll call it uh, 78. We'll call it 73.88. And I'll put a reference point on here just so we can kind of remember that. Uh, we'll call it 73.88. Right here, 73.78 rather, and I'll change this color to green, okay? So you can see it here, right? So 73.88, if the market comes down into this area, 73.88, the low to 68, this area here, you'd be looking, I'd be looking to fade this area long initially here, and if that doesn't work, then you'd be looking for a breakout underneath it, right? So right now, um, right now, I would be looking for to fade into this area initially this morning, right? Come down into the low, come down into this single print down here around 90. If you do take up this single print, there is a chance that you could come into 56, right, before you had that process coming out. So, again, that's kind of what I'm looking at here early this morning. So, if you want to take this chart, right, and you have your market maker level down here at 74.13, so we've got the low here at settlement. I would be looking for a push into, we'll call it uh, 78. And we'll know if this is the right level once we start getting down into it, right? So you have 88 was yesterday's low, right? And we said 68 was the... Uh, so let's mark this on the chart here so we just have a reference point here when we get into it. Uh, let's say this was yesterday low, right? And this is the Wednesday uh, VPOC. Okay, uh, yeah, that's Wednesday VPOC right there. All right, so down into this zone is the initial thing that you'd be looking for is a push down into this zone here, right? You come down into it here, maybe here, right? Maybe as deep as here. All right, we'll make this dotted just so you can know that that's not necessarily, uh, that that's the possibility there. And then you would be looking for a break out and up from this area, right? Somewhere in here. Right, you'd be then looking for that move here. Right, so somewhere, this is what I'd be looking for. If not, if the market's just going to continue to flush, then you're going to be looking deeper, right, into this structure target. And then we'll see where our overnight levels form up once we get to those dynamic support resistance areas. But this is what I would be looking for here early this morning. Right, so I kind of gave you the, it's in this area where you should find some initial. Uh, it, where you should find some initial support is in that area there. And so what you're in right now is a condition where the market is trying to decide if it's going to continue this long push or, which is down in this area, right, a rejection out of yesterday's low and, the, and then Wednesday's volume point of control, or it's going to resume that move to the downside here, right? And so we don't really know yet which way that that's going to go. So we're just going to be open to whatever the opportunity presents to us, but there's two possible scenarios for you to be looking at. So let's just take a look here. One more thing. Uh, da, 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 da. Come here and we'll do this and we'll take a look here at your CL charts and we'll grab this four hour chart and we'll squeeze it in real tight like that. All right, so technically on this four-hour chart, as you can see, let me do this. Let me take these drawing tools off. And so on this four-hour chart, 
you are higher moves, lower moves high, sorry, higher lows and higher highs, right? And so if you are expecting this to maintain itself today, then our expectation level is that it's going to dip into that area and then go, right? That's the expectation level for me this morning. And so is there a possibility to get short somewhere along the way beforehand? Yes, right? So what I would say to you here is if that's going to be a case where you could try to get in short to maybe write it down to that area, <clears throat> you would come down into the low. So let's do this first. Let's bring this. Uh, so you had a low right there around 47, right? And you would come down into this low and maybe break through it, right? So 47 was a previous low. You'd be maybe looking to come down into here, rally back up here like this, and then sell it off into this area here, right? That would be an idea as well. So we're going to change the color of this. We'll just change it to crimson just so you can know the difference between the long and the possible short opportunity here, okay? So give me a second. Let me just change the colors here. So this are, these are a couple of scenarios that you'd be looking for. So again, we'll see where our market maker levels form up here this morning. But right now, a break through that low, down into the settlement, back push back up here into this previous low, and then sell off. If none of these things happen, then we're going to have to just kind of regroup and see what we can find in the way of getting things done this morning. But that initially here is kind of where my thoughts are, right? So again, a push into this low, understanding we can make a play down into yesterday's low. And if we are able to catch a short there, right? And we're going to see where our market maker levels are going to form up. They're going to help provide us with some guidance as to what we're looking for here, right? And our dynamic support resistance after the open levels will provide us with some additional guidance. But that's kind of where we are, at least my thought process here this morning. All right, I put in at 32 short, stop 44, target 77 underneath.